Subphylum Chelicerata also belongs within phylum Arthropoda, and at this station specifically, we will be focusing on class Arachnida. Class Arachnida contains many orders, but we will be focusing on the four orders that contain spiders, daddy long legs, scorpions, and ticks and mites. Arachnids have two distinct body sections, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. They also have four pairs of legs and two pairs of mouth parts. The first pair of mouth parts are called chelicerae, while the second pair are called pedipelps. Arachnids play important roles as pollinators and decomposers. They also are essential for maintaining soil health and eat insects that may be pests. In turn, they are eaten by carnivorous insects, wasps, birds, lizards, and more. While human populations have more than doubled over the past 35 years, arachnid populations have been in decline. This is believed to be due to habitat loss, climate change, and the use of pesticides. Arachnids may be protected by reducing the mechanical alteration of the land and controlling pesticide use. We will now be looking at arachnids under the microscope. Draw what you see and label the cephalothorax, abdomen, legs, and mouth parts. When you're finished, be sure to answer the other questions on your handout. Okay, so first we're going to look at a spider. On the left, you'll see a still photo that is zoomed out so you can see the entire thing. And on the right, I'm going to pan over a closer view so you can see the details. I'm going to be doing this fairly frequently when we look at the microscope slides. So if you see two views, they're probably the same, with one being a closer view, unless I say otherwise. Remember, you're going to need to label the cephalothorax, abdomen, legs, and mouth parts on both this spider and the tick, so make sure you find those parts in these microscope views. There's a labeled diagram you can refer to for help with this in the PDF file. Now I'm going to switch over to the view of the tick. Again, label those four body parts for the tick as well. You're also going to need to identify the order for both the spider and the tick on your handout. Once you've finished your drawings, you will also have a couple of questions to answer as well. So this is going to end our video for station three. If you still need to look at the tick, feel free to pause the video, or you can of course go back to the spider if you need to view that again as well.